last thing, and then we're going to move forward. Stay here if you're up at the almost the last thing. Come on. So the Lord has been um, highlighting veils to me a lot lately, and I feel like He is in our church lifting veil by veil, one after the other, and there is true freedom. And I've been seeing veils over hearts, minds, and faces, but any veil, no matter how thin, will distort vision. The groom stands in front of his bride, but if her face is, if her face is veiled, she will not see him clearly. She won't see the fullness of joy in his eyes, the expression on his face, and she won't behold the del his delight towards her. Any veil between us and Jesus is too much. The veil of religion may look elegant and beautiful to outsiders, but the groom is patiently waiting for his bride to be unveiled so she can behold him clearly and in turn grasp how he sees and adores her. Behind the veil, we assume he is angry and against us. But when the veil is removed, we can clearly see his compassion that gently lifts our heads out of shame into the truth of who he is and who we are in him. That he is kind and he is good. Behind the veil, we see condemnation instead of grace and forgiveness. Behind the veil, we see unworthiness instead of his love beyond measure that has clothed us in his righteousness. Y'all, we can behold the King and complete liberty with unveiled faces because we have nothing to hide. He is not afraid of our wounds or scars for he was wounded for our healing and he was broken so we could be whole. With his nail scarred hands, he lifts that veil. With his nail scarred hands, he lifts the veils. He sees and knows us fully and he wants us. Jesus has held nothing back from us not even his precious life and blood. In fact, he tore open that veil and removed it so that we could be have full access to his presence in the holy place. So Lord, unveil hearts and minds and faces today, Lord, and may we behold you with unveiled faces and reflect your love and your glory to the world. In the name of Jesus. Now, just by way of confirmation, I want to make sure that you hear me say this. When I said one more thing, here was the one more thing. And, and I'm, I'm just now, again, some of you, are, you're here for the first time or the second time. You're, you're still pretty sure we're weird. Listen, I'm just hungry for Jesus, period. So I'm going to tell you what God told me before that. And then you're going to have to respond. And I'm just going to call out this um, mindset before I even tell you. Because here's the mindset. <laughs> this is one good thing about not having that thing on the back. Because you can't look at the clock. But some of you have already looked at your watches and you're like, I think worship's about over. So if I respond, it'll just drag it out. So I'm just going to kill that in the name of Jesus. So before you got up and shared that, the one more thing that I was supposed to tell you was that as we sang the last song during worship, what I saw was Jesus lifting the veil. That's exciting. But what I saw was the bride step closer to the groom. That when he lifted the veil, she wasn't content to just stand a little far away. She said, pull me a little closer. Take me a little deeper. And so here's the freedom. Here's the call. There is, we say remnant rising. There's a remnant rising. There's a, a, a group of broken people that are hungry for the Lord to move. I don't say this to make you feel bad if you're not in that group. That's between you and the Lord. I'm talking to the people who know they're in that group. And as we sing this song, I don't care if it takes a minute or it takes the rest of the day. You're supposed to step forward to this place, to this place. Step out of your seats and move and just say, pull me a little closer. And he's going to unleash power on you. Power on you right now in this moment. 
He's going to do something deeper in us right now in this moment. So you just start to move forward. Just start to move forward. Raise your hands and let's just, this is just you and Jesus. He's lifting the veil. We're not content to have partial vision of someone who loves us fully. We say, pull us closer, God. Pull us closer. And I believe that he will heal bodies. He will baptize people with the power of the Holy Spirit. Just as you're singing, just as you're worshiping. Come on, don't you hold back. Don't you hold back. Pull me, God. Pull me a little closer. Take me a little deeper. I want to know you, Lord. Come on, sing it, church. <laughs> 